Jason just said, back yourself, boys. Just keep backing yourself and backing yourself. Young side, just uh, don't be afraid of anything. Just go for it. Don't don't be afraid of anything and just uh, watch the switches. Just always switch in there. And you just said, Atherston, every time they do make a mistake, Atherston right onto it. So just watch that as well. The, the only thing, I, I they agree. Get the clearance, sorry. We'll come back to you. Quick clearance over the top. Probably should have marked that there, um, Luke Randit. Ball spills, gazes should clear. What was that, Hose? Yeah, I agree with the switching, and you know yeah. that's a great way to switch and spread. But I watched them in that first quarter, and they switched on that last line of defence and got caught out twice. And um, I just think they just get to watch their switches, especially on that last line there. And we um, just saw Jake Westover kick the first goal of the quarter very quick. We're only about 25 seconds in. Jake Westover took a handball out and uh, snapped around the corner, and a uh, goal was only about five metres out. No one was on him, and uh, gee, it was a good start there to, to Atherston. Yeah, so who was that one, uh, Darth? That was Jake Westover. Jake Westover. Beautifully spotted, mate. Well done. And uh, first blood to Athelstan on the South Wales Football Club scoreboard. They now lead by 11 points again. And we just noticed the the, uh, the boys from Gazer are wearing the black armband. Nathan Fredericks, grandmother, unfortunately passed away during the week. So he's. Uh, I did see that on Facebook. So commiser- not commiserations, uh, condolences correct, yes. uh, to the Fredrick, Frederick family. And uh, obviously knowing Nathan, as he having coached him as a young man, we do certainly wish right? them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mentioned it before. We won a 2004 national title together when he was a 17-year-old. Good, I didn't know you were good kid. Oh, you no, go. I was the coach. Oh, he yeah. he played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, good on him. As Gazer, they win a clearance through the centre here. This way, that way. Sloppy kick there though from uh, Sam Fulton, but did get first use. Athelstan should clean up. Oh, he stole the ball. That's a little louder, isn't it? Justin Sheedy's hurt in the middle of the ground there too. As we see uh, the ball spills too. It was. I'm not sure who it was for us, but he's wrapped up. We're going to have a ball up 45 metres out, 50 metres out from the Gazer goal. Luke's not re- walking real well at all, mate. Looks like he's, he's no. going to come off. He looks like he's a leg. It's his. Uh, he went down at that leg. stoppage yeah. and um, he didn't look good. Not he... looking real good at all. No. As you see another ball up by the umpire. Umpire has come in, so I'll have it again. So and another, yeah, see another ball up. Around. That's a huge play. He's just starting to get a bit of steam up now coming off, but. That's not, not good for Sheeds. He'll come no, off. And right. uh, coming on for Athelstan, we've got Jay, uh, Johnny Fisher. As a ball spills, Gaze will win it. Tackle. Slipping the tackle is Steven. Secondary tackle. That's probably gone, is it? Oh, it's just slipped up and he's got one higher. I reckon he's rolled an ankle. It looks like he's rolled an yeah, ankle. He's not looking. He's, he's stopped. It. Anyway, that's, it's back to the game. So they send in, in long into their full foot. Good mark there by, you know, can't see. It's probably too far away for me to have a look at. But he's just chips in short. Not a good looking kick, but picked up there well by Muriello. And uh, he sends it in long into the outer wing. Another good mark there. I think it's... San Germano at that side. But yeah, he's San Germano, and you said game. it quickly. Yeah, he's well game, under Quick 18. play here, fast footy from Atherson. They, get it, they could get it over the top here, and they have. Good mark there by Clues. He's been dangerous at full forward. He's marked 45 metres out. Looking, looking. Goes from 50, sees someone in the pocket. It's elusive Chris Elliott, and he takes a mark right on the boundary. Good kick. 15 metres around from the goal. Now, he's been clever today, and if he's as clever as I think he is, he'll, he'll find a way. He'll run around on the right and kick this through the goals. Just while we're waiting, Das as well, I know you want to know this. The Bays, the Tigers, no. Tommy's Tigers against Evans Eagles. What have they done? It's the Tigers by about three goals. Yeah, it is two. That's not good. We've got a few injuries out of Eagles at the moment, but no excuses. It's oh, a good man, clue. Man, really well. Elliot comes around, <laughs> kicks across the face, <laughs> right across, across, the face, across the face, lands it in the barbecue. Don't you break those hamburgers and it's uh, <laughs> going to be a, uh, a kick in. They're about 20... Goes. You're around about $20,000 down, mate, today because you haven't been over there. Yeah, I know. It's can't be struggling. Very funny stuff. <laughs> All right. Heinze is about to t- bring it in for, for Gazer. He's, got, he's looking around, looking around. He sends a nice little kick right in front of us. It, it lands. Pack right. of players form. They all go up. No one's taken it. And knocked on by seven. That was uh, De Violi. De Vitelli. De Vitelli, I'm getting it. <laughs> a quick look down. You never a chance on that one, no, right? Exactly. After um, the last game here, they're going to call it the Tommy Javor barbecue. <laughs> oh, we're still going with that. Really good line here, <laughs> Uh, oh, a bit high there, taken. Yeah. That was uh, Stevens not oh, paid by the umpire. It, the umpire should have seen it. He didn't see it. Maybe the umpire, the other second umpire, should have seen that one. He was very high, and he's not happy either, as he shouldn't be. Stevens, he said, "No, where's my head, boys?" Hines, he wins the tap straight down. Plenty of players around the ball, about a dozen as the ball spills again, battling hard in there. Can't see who it is at the base of the pack. No, it's Heinze, three or four players on top of him, and the umpire will come in and he'll ball it up again, and we'll have about a third or fourth ball up 70 metres out from the Athelstan goal. Heinze again, wins the tap, well done. Stevens inside out kick, but it's all Athelstan back there, setting up the press back there. Beautifully done. Good Mark Morello comes in board to a very, very lean young fella by the name of Lidovici. That's Chris Lidovici. Brother of Dom comes up to the fish man. He's just, just come back on, Fisher, Josh yep. Fisher. John Fisher. 
Because they have got that plus one. Oh, just there's the, the zero nice. one two. That's the, the chip away. The, <laughs> to Cole the Durden right in front of us. Really good field kicking so that's far, from Matheson. They're is. hitting up that's targets. A, they have switched it. Now he's going to send this in long, though. Still, he hugs the boundary line very well. Hines should... Oh, Hines went up, just didn't quite take it. Now it's got out of bounds. Yeah, it's spilling off the hands of the man bun. That is, of course, uh, Costa Papa Christos. And um, no relation to Jesus, Lord of the Christos. <laughs> and we'll have a ball in. Right on the... Uh, right near the 50 line. Again, Hines, he wins a tap. But beautifully read there by Athelston. Inside Tark, out kick. Up. Yeah, it goes this way, it goes that way, and it should go through for one behind. Bounce back into play. Everyone gets excited, but it's already one point. Over on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard, it's Athelston, four goals, six. This could come back to haunt them. Gazer, three straight goals. It's a 12-point margin, boys. And kicking to the Ray White, northeast. She's a right score uh, into the ground, and um, very little breathe out here today, fellas. Very is, is Ray deep. a woman? Ray is White. It? Yeah. She's all right. If it's Ray White, it's he's all right, mate. Come on. Lift. Okay, it's all Gazer here at the foot Lee, of the pack. Lee Hamble's out. And so it bounds on yeah. the floor. Looks like Gazer's got, gee whiz, I oh know there's a few, now there are a few are starting to drop back again. So there's about four Gazer versus one Atherston in their forward line, but now a few have dropped back and it looks like they have the plus one as well. So, yeah. Okay, Gay, uh, Payne and Roy Jr. down by two goals at quarter time. I've kicked the first two in the second quarter. Now they're down by just a point as the ball spills. Athelstan player ridden into the ground like a horse. And it's no free, nothing doing. We're going to have a ball up 50 metres out from the Athelstan goal. Athelstan by 12 points. Hines up again. Good tap there to that Gazer play. Gazer play takes it out of the ruck there. And, oh, he makes, dropped that number eight. That was uh, Bruce. Bruce is still over it. No, now it's taken out of Atherston. Atherston, good handle that. No, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it was straight out of it. Looked handle. like it was going to be a ha good handle, but uh, if he got him, I think the Atherston play could have ran for a goal then. It was uh, Stephen, minutes, Stephen but, uh, Monder. I reckon that's up. Joey Monder's brother. It looks just like him, so I'm going to, I'm going to say it is. Another Paynham boy. Is, of course, Paynham and Atherston, traditional rivals. A lot of uh, brothers and floating around. As uh, Gazer win the ball, goes forward. Really good attack there Bruce by Gazer. Again. Yep, spins down. Steven. Stevens again with that flailing elbow. Nothing doing. Angry oh, Ant today, oh, he's isn't got he? Another one. He has been. That's the second yeah. time he said, like, get off me, boys, or I'll let he you know. He was about exceptional it. last time we were yeah. here. Uh, Ashley Bruce hadn't done a lot today, but last game was brilliant. Jack Jarrett kicks the ball in. Oh, uh, straight to Monster. player yep. in 20. Is that Monday? Yep. yep. There's that uh, the plus one back there, just running loose and found him right there on his own. Our uh, very good use of the rock by Monda. Mondo Rock indeed. <laughs> Thank you very much. As they swing it out with a chain of kicks. That looks like Swift out there. Big Swifty straight down the line. A good spore by Gazer at Harford. And it'll knock it out of bounds right in front of the beautiful little playground where all the, uh, can I say Asian? Well, they are Asians. Um, <laughs> they all do their weights over there on those uh, leg press machines. Every uh, Tuesday night we're playing AFL 9s. Where well, the, yes, well, the horses used to, used to leave the horses there before and the track was pulled down. But you, yeah. keep, you keep saying that, Darcy, about the plus one, but they haven't got a no, plus they didn't one. Have it now, they, it seems they just drop, when they drop back really quickly. Yeah, like, they do. It's um, And I can't not quite now. work out what they're doing. Yeah. But yeah just a, when it's right in front of us, it was then they dropped one right back real quick and they found the player. As soon as yeah. the ball went out, they found him. But uh, And that was the switch then, the zero one one two they usually caught in the SNFL, but they did a very good switch then, Atherston, and um, unfortunately the kick didn't go too well, went out of bounds, but the, the good switch which John was talking about. They call it a zero one two. one two. Oh, where yep. are we? The zero one two. one 2 that's the switch okay. they need. I thought it was a 1-2, but okay. <laughs> right. well, zero where they start, oh. depends on... Nathan <laughs> Frederick takes possession and handballs to someone on the park bench. <laughs> <laughs> they must have been deliberate in this, Greg, because... Unless that's his dad and he wanted to give him a stat. I don't know about that one. I don't know. She uh, looked a bit average, didn't it? <laughs> Eight and a half minutes gone. Yeah, in the second quarter here. It's uh, Gazer down by 12 points at home here in a must-win game for finals aspirations. They win the ball here. Front down the line. True centre wing position. Gazer flies. Man in front. Takes Bruce. a good really good, good. A good They call mark. him Bruce. And a really good mark indeed. He swings on to the right. Goes straight to the true centre half forward position. I'm impaired by the boy in front of us. <laughs> That is uh, Braden Lay. Braden, we can see Braden Lay. We can't see the play. It rhymes. <laughs> he's, he's but it's going to be a... Uh, it looks like a free kick to Athelstan, yeah, Athelstan have got a free kick over there. It's a player in 20... Number 20, which is uh, Moriello. He just chips it over across. Good good kick there. Good chip over there to number... That would is that be Sheedy? Sheedy. Looks is. always okay again. Well, that's again. Great he's news for Athelstan. He, if he's come he's off in a wheelchair about. and he's back on again. But uh, <laughs> it's, uh, he's yes. okay. That's good. Morello come inboard. Kick to Morello. Centre half back. Goes to the wing. Nice chain of kicks here. Aaron Stewart, quieter this quarter. Goes right out to the wing now. So the boy with the red boots. The very, very skinny boy. What's his name? Uh, don't know. 
But anyway, he's stopped. Now, just giving Gazer a time to set their it's zone a long up. time to kick yeah, this ball. Yeah, it's just going to be a high up and under now, and it's anyone's ball. Heinze gets in position A. Ball goes over the back. Spills. Hard to pick up. It's on the 50 for Athelstan. Group tackle there, and we're going to have a ball up well, right big, on the 50 line there, near the boundary. Big group hug over there. Yeah, there. Nathan Frederick just doing the... Uh, Doing what he does best, neutralising the contest with a nice big hug. and a Bit of find. a rolling zone, that Athelstan one. They're rolling off their yep. players and they they haven't got a, a man, but they're all rolling onto a different bloke. So um, Yeah, Heinze tapping down to Frederick, done. clearing kick and just goes out of bound right in front of the South Wales Football Club scoreboard that tells us it's Athelstan, despite having seven more scoring shots, lead by just the 12 points. As you said, I think you, TJ, you said that it's going to could come back to haunt them later on, but uh, so no. still they're playing very well at the moment. No, I, I tipped Athelstan. I thought uh, I thought they'd win, and I'm sticking with it. And I've just, it it's gonna, uh, it's what it does. It leaves the door open. Correct. That's what it does. Big loss today too is uh, Big Day the Loka not playing for uh, Gazer. Yeah, he had that real touch of class last start, didn't he, Hose? He's a very very good player. Umpires having a bit of field day today. Another ball up we see on the the far out. I mean, just uh, just the side of the scoreboard there. Hasn't been a, a consistent ball up top day though, so, which has been quite good. The last yeah. time we're here, yeah, just um, yeah, ball up every every couple of seconds. So, Sheedy, he looking a lot better than he was a few minutes ago. Well, he thought he shouldn't have to have an amputate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really couldn't see, move I'm... as Heinze shakes oh, and bakes down the but... wing. Big high ball, but it makes it pretty easy for Athelstan. But it spills to Bioli, who drops what he should have taken. Oh, he's caught Oh, and he's been oh, gee, okay. He never actually took possession. It just spilled straight out of his hands. I guess you'd say he's got the result he's after. That was one of those things. The umpire, very lucky. Um, very lucky. The umpire, just the player doesn't know that he, um, he hasn't got control. He thought he had the ball. He continues the tackle. Unfortunately, he said, no, he didn't have the ball, guys. So it's a free kick. Yes. First time I think guys in the, this is the first time they've um, had a shot, isn't it? I think yeah. in this quarter. In this quarter, yeah. Well, the, the quarter time score was three goals to three five. So again, they haven't um, been their, their early, early dominance. As we just see a change here. Mapstone um, making way for Danny Lee. He did the same again. He started uh, celebrating before it. he even went through. Yeah, but, but uh, Bioli, he's kicked it. So he probably should have uh, paid more attention. He was a very, very short lead in there. But that's his third for Bioli. And on the South Wales Football Demons Club scoreboard, it's now just six points the difference. And that is the six scoring shots, the additional six scoring shots that Athelstan have had. Great kicking there. Four straight goals. So, And we're 12 and a half minutes into the second quarter. If someone turned up, they think, oh, well, close game. But the reality is Athelstan have owned it. They've had 80% of the footy, but they're only six points in front. That's it. And, Too um, many points. We just haven't... Uh, Capitalised on the the chances they've had. Yeah, yeah. They um, uh, gazers certainly don't look up up to uh, beating Athelstan, but they're only six points behind. Yeah, more points than a Davern Park meth dealer as Gazer win the clearance, comes straight out, and uh, it was Tristan Carr to Gruber. Red to Gruber. It's probably Gruber. first up today. Gruber. They yes. Use, uh, Swings onto the right, goes to the forward pocket. Athelstan spool it up over the top and send the ball into the tennis courts right down there on the far. Or oh, southeast, northeast corner, we'll call it. The OG, no, well, OG, yeah, road, OG road end. Yep. Tell me, Javor Pocket. <laughs> Big Rander up against uh, Heinze there at this uh, boundary throw in. Yes. I think no, it's had a Benny, break it, has Benny Bioli. Ball one down. Oh, well done, Sheard. He comes clear with the ball at pace. Gives it. They should spread this way. They do. 50 50 ball here. This is big. It's big. Well done by the young Gazer fella. Who was that? That was, was Matthew Beadle. Beadle to Frederick. Frederick on the left. You could hear Not him say, kick. oh, dearie me, as he kicked it because he kicked it straight <laughs> to Athelstan. He'll come back in. Oh, Frederick take... train. Oh, Bang. He, left that, I think. <laughs> he leaves Chris Elliott with a bit of a bruise. It'll say, you played against Nathan <laughs> Frederick today. And he now he gets the handle. Frederick, bit of a purple patch. Beautiful better rifle kick. Much kick. better kick yep. that one. Hits him right in the middle of the ground. Overlap. Reese Jones, Braden Lay, lay to half forward on the left. Quick running shot, but it's Athelstan should. Oh, he drops what he should have taken. Bioli off the ground with his soccer on the left oh, from the pocket. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's the Benny Bioli show. Boys. Oh. Goal of the day, that one. He probably even shocked himself that it's gone through, but tonight it's gone through there. Look, scores are level now, boys. It's, uh, it's crazy. Six points and have uh, maybe come back to bite them, I think. It all started with Nathan Frederick getting involved three or four times. He did the same thing on the uh, opposite. He'd be up around 15 touches playing across half back. And he's bobbed up forward for a goal. Arguably now the most influential man on the ground. Yeah, he yeah. went went uh, went back at quarter time. He's been back in the back half there and uh, steadying the ship for Gazer. And, and he just um, just had a Jarge just having a few words to one of the boundary line here. He's thought he was coming off, but Jarge has had a few words and he's run back on again. So, so it's all level. 
B- believe it or not, because um, they are both yeah. playing one behind the ball, hose. They yeah, are. They, yeah. yeah, they. So sometimes it is, sometimes not, but it certainly is now. But um, now Atherston have got a chance to go straight up, Elliot. straight up and down. See Chris Elliott. There, it's his second mistake in a minute. Yeah. He's looked at his opponent rather than looking at the ball. And Beadle's just had eyes for the ball. He's taken yep. the mark. Beautiful left foot. Now he swings it out to the far side. Oh. Half volley, kick not quite getting there, but he should clean up. Looks like Stevens, not sure if it is. He goes along to half forward. Heinze, position A. He is everywhere. Jumps up, Heinze. takes his He's... sixth mark of the day. Yes, sorry, Dust. <sighs> no, no, Heinze is even everywhere today. Every time he goes near him, he's, uh, he's taking the grab. So, And just going to dribble through for probably, yeah, it will dribble through for Gazer's first point of the day. It's been fantastic kicking so far, but it's Gazer 5 1 to Atherston 4 6. So, and they uh, hit the lead for the first, time, the first today. time today. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard, it's Gazer by the narrowest of margins, just the one point. As we hit uh, 15 and a half minutes in the second quarter, kick out. Oh, good mark there, Beautiful. McCready. Yeah, interception McCready, there. You probably have a shot here, I think. He's on a, what did you say, about 65 um, mm. degree angle there. He's, he's five metres in from the boundary. Yeah, yeah. It probably tells our listeners a little more. It is. He's probably, he's got, it looks like he's going to have a shot, though. Yeah, so 40 metres out. He might have that. Left foot hard no, kick top for of left the square. He did. Nice kick. Looks for Redetti oh, and finds good his catch. Yep. Great mark there by Redetti. Just got the sit on his opponent there, the young fella. Probably saw the mismatch with um, young Sam, uh, not Sam Fulton, with Stevie Monder, it looked like, and uh, he was able to get up over the top. And Redetti's mark, 20 metres out in a slight angle. He's been taped, though. It could be an um, almost footy legend one there. You've got that there, so he's a uh, very... Very serious. So that, that mark. That mark, you think? Have you been smoking something, Darcy? Oh, it was a good mark. It was, it was pretty top standard. Of yeah, no, was, up on some, was up, really, up on back of someone. Oh, was, did you on the back of his ass? Then? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, <laughs> Redetti, straight in front. Umpire does a bit of work, but I don't think there's too many problems there. Straight Gazer through again. the Australian Gas Network's end, and it's Gazer on the South Wales Football Club scoreboard. Gazer six goals, one thirty-seven. A bit of a purple patch to Athelstan four six. 30. And since you said they haven't scored this quarter, Das, they've kicked the last three goals. Game one. has swung around in the last five, ten minutes, so uh, no, well done to Gazer. Cotton back into the uh, ruck and Rand are having a bit of a rest, so they're continuing this uh, this dual ruck contest against Heinze. And we do see the plus one again. We do see it there now. Yeah, Hosey, there's definitely so there one. Yeah, but, definitely uh, plus one. But um, Hasn't quite worked in the last 10 minutes because Gaze have scored the last two goal one to put him in front by gone off. Atherston, their first chance now in 10 minutes to get him, they're sending their forward line. But again, we see. Big uh, Frederick had his kick smothered. Number seven, now we see a Divitoli. He's had a short kick, chipping, nice looking kick. Beautiful kick. Taken there by number 16, which is Moraz. Oh, great smother. He's. Westover. Westover's had a shot, and what has happened? Point. A point. Hit the post. Yeah, a few good smothers in there. and um, yeah, Tight yeah, footy then, isn't it? Yeah, Rich Jones yeah, got, his, uh, got his hands in there too. Oh, drop what he should have taken. We see some any other scores, and we'll do that probably shortly at half time. Any other scores from other grounds? If you can, send them in to TJ or Hosey, and we'll certainly um, notify what they are at half time. So. Yeah, give you a shout out. Sure will. And the ball's out of bounds on uh, right next to the scoreboard on the outer side here at uh, Clemsey Goval. So, um Bit of a lull in play, but Cotton up against Heinze in the ruck. Cotton giving a good hand, gets his hand to the footy. Ball going nowhere. Young Braden Lord gets a quick handball out. Finds Tristan Carr. Tristan Carr goes forward. Oh, oh that's a nice good mark. mark ben McCready. That's a beautiful Swings mark. on the left. Quick, fast footy. Umpire oh, makes a little bit of a great kick. Yeah, no, very good football. McCready. Ben McCready. Make stand up. Took it. That's swung exactly on what the guys left. need. Yep. Beautiful handball from Braden Lauder there, right? Uh, just across half back. Flick one out. Um, over to Stevens. Stevens into McCready. Goal. Quick work. Yeah, no, very good there on the South Wallow Demons Football Club scoreboard. Gazer, seven goals, one. That's that accurate kicking. It's coming back. But as Wayne Knowles always says, bad kicking, Dars. Is uh, loses games. <laughs> something <laughs> like that. <laughs> you, you, got, you took me right off guard then I was miles yeah, away. I was just talking about something football, else. Bad yeah. football. I was miles away. You, I was looking at the score with 90 minutes in the second quarter. You took me off guard. Sorry. 7-1 oh, plays 4-7. Yeah. Gazer 43, Athelstan 31. 12 points of difference. Ball up here. Heinze takes on uh, the big fella. Um, I don't know who he's up against there. Cotton. Cotton was against Cotton. Here, uh, about to have another, no, taking by Gazer. Good pick up there off the ground. He's handled. Ga- oh, chipped there by the Gazer kick, player yeah. to Heinz. Heinz, good pick up there by the big fella. Take he sends on. it over the wings. Good kick there too by Heinze. 
Rudetti. Uh, Rudetti. Yeah, overlap handball. Gays are just starting to get some spread from the contest here. Up to Bioli. Ball goes over the back. Should be rushed through for a point, and it is. Uh, what we said, Hose, why Athelstan was on top. They're winning around the clinches and spreading better, but now it's Gazer. When they get the ball, they're spreading both ways. They're looking a lot more dangerous with the football. Yeah, they really are. Um, I couldn't find where that plus one was coming because they were six on six at the forward line, and they're plus one. They actually were free on the wing. They were giving away a wing. Athelstan were, which is rather an odd tactic. Speaking of wing, they bring it to the wing right in front of us. Oh, big fly there, but drops maybe what he could have taken. Luke Randa over the top of Frederick, and we'll have a bowl in. The other move that's been crucial is uh, whoever's gone to Aaron Stewart has shut him out of the game. Best blong ground in the first was, quarter. Hasn't been sighted in the second. Very no. dangerous in that first quarter, but uh, haven't seen him. But as we enter time on into the second quarter. Hindsey wins the tap. Tap one down by Gazer. This way, that away. It's Sam Fulton. Fulton on the left down the oh, line. Could be an Looks FAD for there, maybe not. And the ball spoilt. We'll have a ball in about 70 metres around from the Gazer goal. Cole Durden got a fist in there. Uh, good spoil out of bounds. Cotton up against Hindsey. Boundary throw in. James Matstone just makes way for a play. He's not happy with it. No, he's not either. We could have heard something on the microphone then if it was uh, any closer, but that's okay. As we see the umpire again, just say, not mine, boys, and I'll ball it up. Ross Trevor by seven points over PAC. A close one out at Park. Uh, I don't know where it is, actually. Either way. Uh, again, we see it's going to be another ball up. Everyone's dived on top of it. Well done. On the bottom, as you see, is normal Hines. He's up on the ruck. He's on the bottom. He's everywhere at the moment. Campbelltown Oval it is. Sorry, Darcy. It's uh, Ross Trevor by yep. seven points. Thanks again for the updates. Peter Carter. Bring him, keep bring, keep him in, boys. Need to know at half time. We can read out what's going on. As we see another ball up, 70 metres out from the gaze of goal. Heinze, as usual, wins the tap. Beautifully read there. McCready swings on the left, gives the handball in board. Another handball in board. McCready gets on the end of the third, 40 metres out. Oh, just straight off balance that when play. He I think that would have yeah. hurt the play, but straight the end of that play. But now he's up again. He's OK, yep. but uh, good oh, smother there. Bound jump umpire says that's actually been touched off the boot as he kicked it, so we can have a Jack, ball in Jack five Miz metres around Jack from Jack Mizuras, that was a, a great tackle on McCready, having that shot yep. for goal, yep. and uh, forced him to ground, and uh, ball went out of bounds. Yeah, it's just five metres around from the Gazer uh, point post. Big ball in. McCready's been really good this quarter. Stacks on, another five or six. Looks like we're going to have another ball up. There's another 20 players down the uh, the goal square there. That's what's going to happen, I think. Just don't want to give an inch away at the moment. Ball up again, right but the goal square there. And I think we're going to say, oh no, it's come out. Atherston players come out with it. Didn't do much with it. Another handball out of a Gazer play. Gazer swings around. Has a shot, it's straight up and down, and Athelstan, no, bounce like every ping pong again at the moment, and we've uh, the Athelstan players taken over the line for a point, and quick as a, quick as you can be, Athelstan have kicked it out, played on, now we're sitting in the outer wing by number one, which is Klaus. Klaus has got a good mark out there, he's, he's going to have a look around, he's chipped it eye across to number, no, punched off, again, where are we? So the Gaze has taken it, they're in, in the centre now. Ashley Bruce. Finds a target across half forward. It's a quick handball across to Adrian Stevens. Ooh, Athelston find the ball. Find the ball again. Back. So it's a quick turnover there. So Athelston got a chance to go in their forward line. They've sent it long to 24. That's Luke Randa. Randa turns around quick. He's played on. He's going to send it in long, which he does. Looks for no Sits one in particular. Sits it on his head, though. He's and about four, yeah. four or five Gazer plays there. Wasn't a yeah. good kick in that end. No. Right on his so, head. Gazer able to uh, yeah. take position. They'll swing straight through half back now. Dangerous kick if Gazer can get it. They'll, and they do. Quick kick to centre half forward. Two on one. And Stevens chops in. Is it Stevens or is it... Um, it is Stevens. Mm. He's chopped in and taken the mark. 48 metres out. And he goes to the wing. Running down is Redetti. Redetti takes a mark about 40 metres out. Stevens had a shot there. He's probably more in, uh, in line than the where he kicked it then on the... Bit of an angle over the other side there, but um, he says no. Yeah. Oh, we'll chip it over. Thank yes. you for ducking down. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but, uh, Redetti's just marked the spot about 45 metres out in a 30 degree angle, and he has gone back. He has gone back to Blair Athel with his run up. I kid you not. He, it's a 40 <laughs> metre run up. Yes, it is. It's unbelievable. Walking. He's walking. Running. Skipping. Jumping. <laughs> It's a kick. It's going to be worth it if he puts it through. No. Near side, just the one behind. As we're 24 minutes into this uh, second quarter. And we see on the scoreboard, seven goal four to four goal Where's seven. It? So we still see Gazer leading there by the three goals. Where is it? Away? Two goal three. Reckon it's Redetti. Just uh, adding our score, goal scorers up here. And it has dried up for Athelstan. Uh, a lot as they go again to the back Not pocket. Not a good kick there. Not out. successful, but they should come out through Sheedy. Again, 
Gaze in midfield right on top. Stewart and, and Shitty, you haven't heard those names, but right in front of us now. Chain of Hambles, four Hambles, right in front of us. Luke Randa, Randa kicks to Elliot. Elliot eyes on the ball that time, takes it literally right in front of us. I could spit on the boy. <laughs> and he's going to go inboard. Truce and a half four. Dangerous kick, but he needs to take risk. And a good mark there by oh, 25, and 25. Yeah, you can't yes. do that. He's claimed the mark, so yeah. he's, he's pushed him. And that's going to give him a – that is absolutely stupid by McGreedy. Yeah, there's nothing – there's no need oh, for Oh, it's not whatsoever. a very big 25, though. Yeah. But he's still going to line up 40 metres out. That is, of course, just Jake Westover. He'll line up 40 metres. And he's seen a player in the pocket. Ooh, he's also yeah. about Who 40 metres Who was on that player? Out. No one saw that player drop down. No talk out there. They should have seen him drop down. He's chipped over and a great kick there, actually. Yeah, he's, he's gone back about another 50 <laughs> metres as well. <laughs> what is with these Jeez. run-ups? <laughs> He's they go back and they have these routines. They practice and uh, get into their routines with their goal kicking. Yeah, right. Certain amount of steps and... Oh, he's got too close to the man on the mark. Yeah. It's gone. So he's hit a 9 on. It's not even going to make the distance. Frederick just says, thanks. I'll punch that right out and over. I don't know why the first guy... Who was the first guy? Westover. I reckon Westover should have had a shot. But anyway, it's just me. No, absolutely. So now we see the bounder right down the, in the uh, forward pocket there on the other side. Oh, a bit of an average throw in there by no one's particular has got it umpire's found a free, free kick, kick to Athelstan first no of the ball and it's uh, the bloke with the man bun I reckon that is is it is it Fisher I think it is it is it is Johnny Fisher the man they call Fish I'm guessing anyway he's going to line up 30 metres out on a slight angle and I'll expect him to put this right into the car park Reese Jones on the mark having a big clap we're all clapping put him off he's got the clap is he? <laughs> and it's straight through the middle. Put it through. To Something. say they needed that one is an absolute understatement. On the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard, it's Gazer. Seven goals, 4.46. Athelston, five goals, 7.37. It's now back to a nine-point ball game. And uh, 26 and a half minute gone in this uh, second quarter. Probably a minute left, I would say. We're going to change. We've got uh, 16 huge. comes on. So for Jarrett is on and off comes uh, Skinner. Tate Skinner. And yes. a break. Randa in the ruck. Yeah, Randa versus Hindy. Plenty of quality around the ball as well. And then we've got Bruce McReady, to name just a few. And it's one out to uh, Sammy Tarka. Tarka, quick kick. Not a very effective one. Ball one down. Big Swift collects. Cast in the role of a rover. He's tackled straight away. And we'll have another ball up there. And a uh, good spot there from Chris Swift to make position for a big man. Cotton. Doesn't quite win the tap. It's Hindy. One by the Gazer player, but it's smothered. Kick smothered. Kicked off the ground. This one might spill out of play. Man bun leads in the race. <laughs> Papa Christos, of course that is, and escorts it over the line. We'll have another ball in. I reckon we do for an Atherston goal so we can get three points down at uh, just at half time. Only three points separate them. So. It's been a fantastic game Actually, of footy, though. Very close, like very contested. Attacking sort of a game of footy. Yeah, nine points the difference as the Ruckman lock up and fall over. Strong play there by McCready, putting his body in, asserting himself. But a rugby well. player there, trying to barge mm. his way through, didn't quite happen. Speaking of rugby, Dars, I'm, I've got, I'm in the corporate box tonight for the rugby oh, at Adelaide Oval. You, so you know people in high places, I TJ. I certainly do, mate. Oh, oh bulldog that's, type that, tackle. That's, very that's high, a dangerous yes. tackle there from Aaron Stewart. Mm. Maybe a bit frustrated because McCready's kind of had his number this quarter, got on top of him. Been a good move there. If Jars made that move, I'm not sure if he did, but if he's made that move, it's a really good one. As he kicks to Frederick, Frederick probably fair enough. We'll have the ball right on the halftime siren. Both uh, of them have been very good, McCready and Frederick. Yes, on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard at halftime, it is Gazer seven goals for Athelson five goals seven. It's a nine-point ball game. Your thoughts on the first half, please, Hose? Athelson probably had seventy percent of the footy, except for maybe the last.